It had been a dream of mine to go to Sweden during one of my weekends or days off since I spent a lot of time in the general Copenhagen area which is really close to Sweden. For once I decided to act on it. It happened to be on a very rainy day um, and the whole theme of this video is going to be that I actually had a lot of back pain during this trip so that's unfortunate. But Before I went I got some really delicious takeout. I always feel like treating myself when I'm out in the city. Seeking away from the rain, getting some hot food, it was very nice. Found a Converse shoe on the floor. I had some time to kill before the bus went, so I spent the time in the local library. Just really spent some time feeling bad for myself and my back pain. But there's beauty in the world. So I got on my Flixbus and looked at all of the busy tourists everywhere outside in Copenhagen. It's not a very long trip, I think it's about an hour. And the person next to me was watching Doctor Who, which was such a blast from the past. Once we arrived in Melmö, the weather wasn't so bad anymore. Here's a fit check. Trousers layered underneath a dress with a sweater on top and a raincoat from Muji, and then this leather bag I found with a bunch of keychains on it and my Fjellraun Kungen backpack. And that was everything I carried with me for that short period of uh, time for the visit. I always love going to grocery stores, I found all these cool things. <laughs> and there was a really beautiful sculpture in the area that I went and explored. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a really touristy thing, but um, I just thought it was really interactable. You can see me moving so tenderly and slowly because of my back. My whole plan was just to go around and explore, and I'd looked up a few thrift stores ahead of time. Then I sat down in the park with the groceries I'd bought, and a whole lot of birds came over. And there was this amazing duck that like jumped to get a snack, and then I gave it to it, because I couldn't help it, and it got really thirsty. <laughs> and there was this other bird that got really close to me. It was very magical, even though I was sitting there kind of overwhelmed with all of my stuff on my personhood and my back pain. Then I walked to the Airbnb I had booked for the night. Um, I had to stop along the way and lie down because it was just so painful to be walking. I did try to take painkillers, but they were the wrong kind and they weren't strong enough, so... A bad time for me. But I soldiered on and I tried to find refuge in local parks in the area on the way. Once I arrived, it was kind of weird. The guy lived in the Airbnb as well, which I wasn't expecting. I hadn't really looked that much at the ad, but yeah. So I had felt like I had to be very quiet. And actually I'd planned to talk to the camera, but as you can see, I'm in so much pain and I'd feel really awkward bringing out the camera and talking. And also my normal camera didn't charge, so I didn't bring it. The next day though, I got clarity of mind and I bought these extremely good painkillers that I know for a fact work on back pain because my dad uses them. Um, this one was a really pretty pink 
person and it helped me move around and feel like a normal living, breathing person for the rest of the day. So it really saved my ass. I got on the bus, it was really confusing. I just copied someone in front of me, like held, held up a payment card to a payment stand. And I just hoped that I didn't have to check out again. <laughs> so confusing. And this street had jeans for decoration. So I thought that was noteworthy. Okay, and then I got to Bjarke secondhand store, which was a fun mix of both like vintage retro and more reasonably priced boring thrift finds. I did find those cow shoes, they were too small for me. I was really sad, <laughs> they were so cool. These shoes were so cool as well. I love weird hiking type shoes. They had a whole homeware department um, that I really adored. They had these cute little bubbly glasses, but they were quite expensive and pretty small. And it felt impractical to bring glassware all the way from Sweden back to Denmark, so. I put it back and then they only had acrylic yarns so I didn't go for any of those and I didn't really like the colors either except for this one pink that I was a little tempted by but clearly not enough and so on I went into the I forgot the word for where you try the clothes on I had found two lunch plates that I thought were adorable and a whole bunch of clothes so there was this tie-dye, very extra large, uh, oversized fit on me. I loved the colors and the feel of the fabric. I was debating whether this one was too sweet or not, but I really liked the cut and the colors. Then there was this light purple, amazing cotton sweater that I really liked. It had a seam down the middle that was gorgeous. And this nightgown that the fit wasn't very good on me, uh, even though I really, really loved it. If it were a few sizes bigger, I would have gotten it. There was this lovely summer dress that um, I didn't like the print of too, too much. And the fit wasn't amazing, so I just let it stay there. This skirt technically fit really well, but I felt very constricted in it. Um, and I didn't feel like it was flattering on me. Then I found these boxer short type shorts um, in the men's department, but I felt like if I actually wore them out, they would look a little too diaper-ish. Um, and they made this like V fold that I wasn't into. Then I found these striped little short cute pieces but it had a weird flap on the back and it didn't feel like I could move around in them um, and so I would only wear it privately and they were too expensive for that I felt like so I didn't get those even though they were cute I ended up deciding on getting these three pieces and these two plates and then on the way out I actually spotted this amazing reversible sand colored and white sun hat that I grabbed after I'd paid for everything. And then I spotted these men working on the roof of a building. They were cleaning the windows on the roof. I thought that was so scary and cool. And I went into a different secondhand shop and I found these amazing running shoes in neon yellow. And I've been looking for a pair of neon yellow sneaker type shoes for so long and I immediately left them and I found a bit of pink yarn that I might knit socks out of. And I thought it was about to rain. They had all of these amazing vegan products and I tried out this uh, licorice ice cream that we don't have any vegan versions of in Denmark. Hallon. <laughs> and I just walked around for a bit. I felt like it was about to rain. Sat in a cemetery. This was my view looked at all of this stuff that I'd gotten. I always think that's the really satisfying part. <laughs> and 
And then I had some more painkiller before the other one ran out. I thought this was such a beautiful spot for a gravestone. <laughs> that bus says, uh, have a good summer. And my Flix bus got delayed for an hour, but luckily I didn't have any connecting flights, so to speak. Uh, I was just going home. But it was still annoying, because I didn't know what was happening. Finally, it arrived though, and I boarded along with everyone else. It was fun to see the city from a bit higher up in the bus, the places that I'd just been walking around in. I thought this was a pretty impressive building. Oh, I loved the pink of this building. That's why it's in the thumbnail. <laughs> I always love traveling and seeing different color choices and architectural differences between countries. Uh, you can always kind of tell that you're in a new country. This time I couldn't watch any Doctor Who on the screen beside me, so I just looked at the view. Crossing the bridge I saw this boat and someone filmed the whole process of crossing the bridge. There's a pretty long uh, underground tunnel underneath the water between Denmark and Sweden. Finally back home, no more rain, and I was just actually really excited to get home and relax. The morning after I got out of bed and I realized when I was brushing my teeth in the bathroom that it hadn't hurt at all. So that's the silver lining to this story. I got some really cool thrift finds and my back stopped hurting. So. Thank you for watching. This video is a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of the format with the voiceover. I always find them a little stiff to do and weird, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.